Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Orb on the Movements of the Earth, episode 6. Uh, in the last episode, unfortunately, we lost grass. As far as it seems. Um, yeah, death is definitely not light, coming lightly in the show. Um, they found Raphael's notes, and then the other heretic's notes as well combined. And they're like, okay, we need to find someone that can help with this. Uh, that person is, happens to be a monk that Grass knew, supposedly named Badeni. It's right, it's right there. Um, and uh, yeah, Grass is like Grass decided like the way I'm going to help you with this is I'm going to pass down the information. I'm going to entrust you to solve this and help solve this by passing it on to the monk or working with him. And hopefully you can overcome your fear of the sky as well. I hope you can. But yeah. Uh, very excited for this episode. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. <laughs> this is very to the point. Stop. What? Really? I was saying in the last episode, his face looks like he's like been through some shit like a warrior. But it also could just be from him the fact that the work he's done before, he was like tortured maybe? They could anger the church. Indeed. Heliocentrism. Is that the word? I keep forgetting it. I can't read. My friend that just died. God knows. Bored to tears. This guy is, uh, he's got a bit of an attitude. Is he kind of blind in his left eye as well? Is that why he's like kind of faded? Like he knows what that is. Wanderer. That's cool. I know that. No, he did not. <laughs> oh, did he, was this his book? Did he take he take notes in it? And the actual other stuff is still out there. Come on, bro, fight for this. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, he still had some of the scars when he joined the Abbey. Damn, so he's highly intelligent. Yeah? God, the fucked up world you live in. Even if you're not trying to disprove the church, you're still... Oh, you're working too hard. What if God granted him this intelligence and he wanted him to use it, you know? Huh? Oh my god, his arm. Oh. Yeah, right. So every time he's caught studying, he's just going to allow himself to be punished. The moment I become special, my moment of greatness. Hey bro, I'm here for it. What year? I, I forgot what year this is supposed to be based in. Like, I know the general years, like 1500s, 1600s. But like in real life, what year did like this all become public knowledge and the church had to like back down and be like, oh, alright, yeah, that makes sense. Maybe it's a spoiler asking for that. If it's a spoiler. Don't tell me. <laughs> it's like real person knowledge, but you know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, bro's about to get tortured even more. Wait, let me look at his eyes. I don't even like see if his eyes are still the same color. Yeah, that's enough for you. Humankind will literally fly to the heavens in the future, my friend. Oh, damn. Very true. 
You'll take out your eye. Yep. Okay, his eyes are kind of the same color, so maybe he's not blind in one eye. But it's like he did like need a spectacle, so maybe he needs glasses. Who this? He's about to see something. What's he about to say? <laughs> Damn, he fell through the window. Jesus. Wait, whose room is this? Oh, someone's drew, like, galaxies and shit on there. That's cool. Oh shit, has he done this on purpose? Is this a trap? Is there blood on the page? Yeah, he have witnessed him read. Damn. Open that book, you're done for. He's gonna do it. Of course he's gonna do it. Open it to the page of the red spot. Why was it in your room, brother? Damn. <laughs> oh, I hope he gets to see something worth it. Damn, that's all he could learn. Fuck. I mean, he's spitting. Damn. Well, I guess Raphael's uh, works is about to ignite this man. Oh, with candle? Oh! Ah, no! No! Please don't show me this. Oh my god. Damn. Oh, that's gruesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, because he, he, can't, he can't look at the sky, though. <laughs> He's like saying, you better do it. He doesn't know about his thing. <laughs> right? It sounds like a fucking joke. Yeah, did he just say, that's it? You better get on with it? Oh, come on, you can do it. I assume this is a, like a real phobia, probably. Not something I've ever heard of or could even possibly have thought about before, but... I mean, there's so many people on the planet. Of course, this would probably be a phobia. Mm, still glass half empty attitude. Look at the sky, bro. Come on. Look at the sky. They saved him. Oh, they were satisfied, yeah. To be fair, they must be onto something. Come on, bro. You got this, Oxy. What a beautiful night sky as well, without light pollution. <laughs> God. Come on, look past it. Look past it, come on. So he actually did it then. Hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let's fucking go. This is exactly the type of person we needed to find the documents. Oh, bro, you good? I merely vomited. Damn, Raphael was really him. So he literally just threw up because he was like, holy shit, this is good shit. You were about to blow this man's mind. Whoa. <laughs> this is you keeping it brief? This man is too smart for the era that he is in. Holy shit. <laughs> to summarize even further, please dumb it down. Indeed it is. Hell yeah. Yes it is. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't feel like it's moving. It's a pretty good drawing. It boggles my mind, a lot of, a lot of this stuff. Even though now it's like shit we learned in high school. Or even younger. Mimicking the cosmos. Did something happen? I have no fucking idea. 
プトレマイオスの千年を覆す秘密が隠されていたぞ、wow. そしてついに並び追い越す一瞬、right. 地球の君から見て火星の私は後ろに逆行して見える、okay. I got it, yeah. そして完全に追い越してしまえば再び前進しているように見える、huh. もし逆行は本当に行われているのではなくこの話の意味がわかるかあの石箱は人類に解いている。Yeah, absolutely. 偉大で広大で。Sacred and sweeping. Wow. 地球。Which means? 全開と地球が超和。地球と一緒で汚れてる。No, quite the opposite, my boy. もしくは、我々の住む大地は、醜い底辺として切り離されてなどなく、あの美しさの一員だったのかもしれない。Yes. Oh my god, yes. I love this. Open Oxy's eyes. Come on, figure it out, bro. Come on. <gasps> Let's go! Come on! Oh, that's fucking beautiful, man. No more eyes. Yeah. We need to prove it. Move the world. Right, so that was Orb on the Movements of the Earth, episode 6. I can't believe that happened so soon that we got to see Oxy actually look up at the sky and see actual stars and planets and shit without seeing giant eyes. Oh, I'm so happy for him. Uh, I'm so glad they... they or uh, Grass knew this monk because he is stupidly intelligent. Um, my God, I don't know. Him and Raphael would have got along very well. Definitely would have moved the world together. Um, but I've uh, hey, with Raphael's knowledge, um, but then he's a live brain. I'm sure, I'm sure they can move the world together. Oh, what a good episode! I'm loving this series so far. It's so fucking good. It's like. Oh, Ugh. Science in a world that hasn't properly discovered it yet. I love it. I'm not a big science guy myself, but I have great admiration for the people that did this, that made that made this all public knowledge and realized it. Awesome. 10 out of 10. Love this series. Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction today. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.